What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com. We're the free pick in the Pitt versus Kent State Week 1 college football matchup going down Saturday, August 31st, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Pitt and Kent State. Both these teams had disappointing years last year, but Pitt might have had the more disappointing season considering where this team has been in recent years. I mean, under Pat and Arduzzi, they had had some solid seasons, a bunch of winning campaigns. You know, they had had a winning season the previous four years before last year's 3-9 and nine overall record, a 2-6 and six mark in ACC conference play. And now, you know, the quarterback situation in Pitt is, is not great for Narduzzi. I mean, he's got Nate Yarnell coming back. He was behind Christian Veiu and and uh, and Phil Jerkovic, but, you know, obviously Jerkovic not there. Veiu, you know, he left. He transferred out of the program. So it looks like it's going to be Nate Yarnell, the Alabama transfer. Eli Holstein's in the mix as well. Whoever does get the starting gig, and it looks like it's going to be a quarterback guy by committee approach, at least for the first game, see who's doing better, but, they're gonna have they're gonna have options to throw to. The thing for me though is that there's just a lot of question marks, and you know it it's it's just a lot for this pit team. They did bring in a new offensive coordinator though in Cade Bell coming over from Western Carolina. And that was a Western Carolina team that last year you know was first in the in the country in scoring in the FCS, number one in the SoCon. They were first in the conference and third in the country in passing. So this is a team that can air it out. But the thing is is that it's still, you know, a new coaching change, a new coaching staff that these players are going to have to get used to. And it's just about having the pieces in place to be able to fulfill Hall's vision. But, excuse me, fulfill uh, Bell's vision, pardon me, um, as the new offensive coordinator. But I think that that could happen with time for, for Pitt. Is it going to happen in the opener? I think we'll have to see. But at least if you're Pitt, you got a great opening matchup against uh, a Kent State team that really had nothing go right for them last year. 1-11, 0-11 against FBS opposition. The only win came against Central Connecticut State, 38-10. to And they were they were being blown out for the better part of the, of, the, of the season. I mean, you look at their first two games in non-conference play, they were beaten by UCF 56-6, lost to Arkansas 28-6, lost 53-10 to at Fresno State. They were held to three to excuse me ten points or less in each of their first four games against FBS opposition in five of their first eight. So, you know, um, for me, it's just it boils down to the fact that Kent State just doesn't have any real returning productive. They don't have very good returning production. Their top quarterback is gone. You know, they they have some receivers, but is it going to be enough here against a pit team that still has a solid defense, still has a solid pass rush? I'm not 100 percent sure. I lean towards Pitt if I were to take a side here because for me, Pitt just has the higher upside in this matchup, but 24 points is a lot to lay. I'm going to go with the under 55 and a half here. I think Pitt is just going to hop all over Kent State here. And if, they, if Kent State has the same start to the year like they had last year, where they're scoring six or seven points in this opening game, it's going to take in the high 40s to get uh, there to get to the over from Pitt here. And I just don't see that happening in game one with this new Pitt offense. So I'm going to go with the under 55 and a half between Pitt and Kent State, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.